Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add the Lottie Files extension in Adobe After Effects. The Lottie Files for After Effects plugin will sync directly with your Lottie Files account that you access in a web browser. And the plugin will allow you to preview, test, and export your animations directly from After Effects as Lottie files that you can then share for use on the web and mobile apps. If you are not familiar with Lottie files, I will leave a link in the description so you can learn more. But basically, Lottie files are JSON based animations. The file size are really small and you can scale them infinitely. Meaning, no matter how big or how small you scale up the animations, you are never gonna lose quality, similar to a vector graphic. Here are three different ways that you can download the Lottie Files plugin for After Effects. So from the Lottie Files website, once you've created an account and are signed in, if you click Integrations at the top menu, just click on Adobe After Effects, then just click on the button download from Adobe Exchange. You can also access this Adobe Exchange site. If you open Adobe After Effects, go to the top menu window and choose find extensions on Exchange. And finally, if you open up the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app, go to stock and marketplace in the left sidebar and at the very top, click on plugins. Do a search for Lottie. There you'll see the Lottie files for After Effects. Go in the top right corner, click install. I'll click OK. I'm going to enter my Mac password. Once you install the plugin, if After Effects was already open, go ahead and quit the application, then reopen. If you get this permission error pop up, so I'll go to the top, After Effects, Settings, go to Scripting and Expressions. There you see under Application Scripting, all I need to do is tick this box, allow scripts to write files and access network. I'm gonna click OK, then I can close this pop-up. I'll go back to the window menu, extensions, then click on Lottie files. I'll click the button, log in via browser, click allow access. Awesome, you're logged in. And as the instructions say, Head back to After Effects and start using the Lottie Files plugin. Here I am back in After Effects. That pop-up has changed the Lottie Files plugin. Here is a very simple 3D animation that I created in After Effects of this spinning logo. I'll open the Lottie Files plugin by going to Window, Extensions, Lottie Files. I'm on this first tab right here. I'm going to select this open composition that I'm currently in, I'm gonna click on render. I will now get a preview of my Lottie file animation. So I can double click to open that. So this is what it's going to look like. Then I can save it to a workspace. I'm gonna put this in my first project and click upload. Go to lottiefiles.com in a web browser, sign in, then go to your dashboard. I'm gonna to go to this first project. I'm gonna click, and that is my Lottie Files animation that I can now publish on websites or mobile apps. I can click on these three little dots. I can publish it to the Lottie Files library so the public can see my animations. I can also just click on download as, and here I can download it as a Lottie JSON so I could add it to my website, or I could also download it as a GIF WebM mp4 or .mov file. And that is the Lottie file plugin for After Effects. If you want to create your own Lottie files from your After Effects animations in Adobe After Effects CC 2024, my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.